Here comes the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, and his bodyguard, Diesel. The following contest is a ladder match. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Diesel, representing Dudes with Attitude from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. These two have been running roughshod over the WWE ever since they joined forces. Yeah, now the combined power of Diesel and the athletic ability of HBK have made them unstoppable. I agree, as long as their egos don't get in the way. We've seen these two bend the rules on many occasions. I call them two dudes with bad attitudes. I'm sure they'll sleep well at night with all the titles and money they've earned. Here comes the bad guy. Oozing machismo and wearing more gold than Fort Knox. The champion from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 287 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the bad guy, Razor Ramon. You know, many believe that his uh, WrestleMania match with Shawn Michaels, the ladder match at WrestleMania 10, may have been the best WrestleMania match ever. The only thing better than being in an all-time classic match is winning it, which is exactly what Razor did. Razor Ramon climbed the ladder, grabbed the Intercontinental title, beat Shawn Michaels, and achieved immortality. And he's fixing to make WrestleMania history again here tonight. From fighting on the mean streets of Miami, Razor Ramon now sits on top of the world. One of the toughest men to ever step inside the ring. Everyone remembers the Shawn Michaels Razor Ramon ladder match from WrestleMania 10. Yeah, it's amazing how championship ladder matches have evolved since then, Michael. And the ladder becomes a more devastating weapon as time goes on. Well, you can do whatever you want, but you eventually have to climb the ladder. Nothing is more important than the championship. I have no idea how you mentally prepare for this kind of match. Razor gets countered. It's very easy for things to fall into disarray in a ladder match. Corey, how can a competitor find a way to stay focused in a match like this? Well, it ain't easy, Cole, but it's what you simply have to do to get through a match like this relatively unscathed. Your focus and willpower needs to be at an all-time high. And that was an effective attack, guys. Dropkick hits the mark. Big-time clothesline. Good grief. The challenger's looking shaken. Would be what Ramon really needed to push the advantage. Big forearm. Close line to the back of the neck. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat.
Ramon letting his opponent know who's in charge. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? He steps foot in the ring again. He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. Gotta wonder what he's thinking about when he sets it up here. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Setting foot in the ring now. Respectful maneuver from Razor. Someone's about to get a toothpick thrown in their face. He gets back into the ring. Getting the ladder set up. Right in the center of the ring. A picture perfect location. You gotta wonder if Michaels can fight his way back into this. Defiant counter from HBK. Up on the ladder, this is not a good spot. I agree. Switch places. From the top. Rays are able to avoid impact. And he saw that coming from Ramon. Good job. Big move taking a piece out of each competitor. Got to dig deep and find the endurance to climb the ladder. HBK showcasing that famous merchandise for the crowd a little bit. Saw that one coming. Shoulder tackle. Elbow drop. Piercing. And returning to the ring. He must have seen that coming. He's getting it set up in the corner. And I assure you, he plans on using it as a weapon here. Looks like trouble here. Uh-oh. Had that one scouted. Sending a clear message here. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. Now, 
Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. He's got it in his grasp. Huge spot in this match right here, guys. Lifting their opponent back to their feet in a thunderous right hand. Oh, Claws piercing into the skin. Scooped up. What are we looking for here? A following slam. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. A long way. Striking while the iron is hot. Questionable timing of this move, Cole. He returns to the ring. I don't believe it. Hanging on with a death grip. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Ow! Punch straight to the face. Stays off the attack. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? HBK is a moving target here. Some hard offense landing on the champ. I have no idea how anyone can climb the ladder in this condition, let alone do anything else they need to win this match. The rebellious HBK is all fueled up. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Evades their offense. Big time throw. Good grief. What condition can Razor Ramon be in at this point? Frankly, I can't imagine Ramon or HBK winning after what they've endured. Slam! What impact. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Great reversal. Pile driver on its way. Spiked. Sit out. Pile driver. And that could provide all the breathing room you need to climb a ladder. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Incoming. What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. and it's all coming to a head now. A quick reversal by Razor Ramon. He'll take things into the ring. A bad guy looking to end this now. Here it comes! Razor's Edge! Another one bites the dust to the champ. He's setting up the ladder now, but can he get up there in time? That's the question. Just a few steps away from victory now. I think it's gonna happen. Looking on hope, looking for the win. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. 